Hey YouTube, it's Ashley, back again with another haul video. And today, I'm going to film something a little different. I'm going to film a Salvation Army haul, and also some items that I bought at Toys R Us. Toys R Us is having a huge sale right now, and I'm not sure if it's countrywide, but all of the Toys R Us locations in my area are having a big sale. So my brother uh, told my boyfriend and I about it, so we went to a local Toys R Us, and I got some pretty good deals. I didn't buy a ton of stuff. Um, I actually bought a lot of candy, which I'm not a big candy eater, but most of it was Hello Kitty related, which is why I bought it. Um, and I bought a few other items that I got some pretty good deals on. So you'll see me looking at the receipt because I don't remember exactly how much I paid for everything. Um, but I will show you most of the things that I bought. Um, one item I'm not going to show you because it's for somebody else. I don't think she's going to watch this video, but that's the only reason I'm not putting it in here. And then um, I also bought a Mountain Dew and I already drank it, so that's not in the video. So I'll start with the items that I didn't get on sale. I bought this um, Ring Pop, which is Hello Kitty. And it was kind of hard to tell what was and wasn't on sale on some of the racks because the signs were really confusing. Um, so this wasn't on sale, it was actually like a dollar. And this was um, $2.29, which no big deal. This is a Hello Kitty Pez dispenser that I don't have yet. And I have like four or five of them, so I'll just add that to my collection. And I got my first one of these. Um, my Little Pony squishy things. They didn't have the little grab bags that I usually get, so I figured I would try one of these. It was $2.99, which is about the same price the little My Little Pony mini things that I usually get are. And this is actually quite a bit bigger. And I ended up with Twilight Sparkle. So this is what it looks like, and it's like squishy. The only thing I don't like is it smells really gross. It has that like new rubbery plastic thing smell to it. And then I'll get into the items that were on sale. So the first thing I'll show you is this Hello Kitty um, sour candy tin. This one was 74 cents. And I do have um, one or two other candy tins kind of like this. And this one's Blue Raspberry. I also got a tin of Hello Kitty um, Jelly Belly Beans. And this one was... 89 cents. And I think this is all flavors that I like, so that's good. And then I got these Hello Kitty Cupcake Candies. I have had these before. And I've actually been looking for them because the first time I got them was at Job Lot. And I've seen the brownie ones there, which are disgusting. These are actually good. And I haven't seen the cupcake ones there again. These were like a dollar something at um, Toys R Us. So I only picked up one because it was on one of those racks where I wasn't sure if stuff was on sale or not on sale. It was on the same rack as the Ring Pop. But they actually were only 37 cents? Yeah, 37 cents. So I wish I had grabbed more than one. I would have if I knew they were on sale. Now, for the couple of bigger items that I got, all headphones and mini speakers were 20% off. So I grabbed these Jack Skellington headphones. These came out to like $10, which is pretty average for what I pay for headphones. And then I got this really awesome, I'll take it out of the little package here, Marvel Connet. Marvel Comics uh, Spider-Man vs. Venom iPad case. And this was on sale, but um, it wasn't on a huge sale like a lot of the stuff was. This one was... Well, actually, it was on a pretty good sale. I guess the original price was $39.99, and this was on sale for $12, so that was a pretty good sale. And then the other iPad case was the one I got a really good deal on. The original price on this was $44.99. It was on clearance for 
and then I only paid four dollars and forty nine cents for this and this one I like even more than that DC Comics one or Marvel Comics one why do I get those all mixed up? Spider-Man so it says the Pumpkin King on the front so I got pretty excited and then on the back it's just a big Jack Skellington face and I'm obsessed with um, The Nightmare Before Christmas. I've been a huge fan since the first time I saw the movie. So I was super excited to find this. Um, I'm definitely going to put my iPad in it. Take it out of my Jessica Simpson case that I bought last month. So those were all the items that I bought at Toys R Us. So I think I got some pretty fantastic deals there. And then I will show you the items that I got at Salvation Army. So I picked up a couple more CDs. These were $1.99 each. I got Fleetwood Mac, Tango the Night, Tango in the Night. I got Sarah McLaughlin, Mirrorball. And I got the Romeo and Juliet soundtrack. And then I got some more records. Because you guys know I needed some more records. And I'm not exactly sure how much these were. They were about 66 cents because they charged me $5.99 for, I think it's nine records. And when I did the math, it came out to just over 66 cents each. So I have no idea exactly how they charged me for them. But I got a second copy of The Best of Carly Simon. I don't think the one that I have now has the um, sleeve inside. So this one does. I got this uh, Patti LaBelle Stir It Up. And it's from the Beverly Hills Cop soundtrack. And I just thought it was funny because it's got the picture of Eddie Murphy on the back. I got Neil Diamond uh, Taproot Manuscript. This one just looked really neat and it's got this like booklet on the inside. So I figured I'd check that out. And it's like... Um, matte. It's not like a smooth finish on the record itself. I got Jennifer Warner, Shot Through the Heart. And I'm not familiar with her, but I figured I'd check it out. The record itself looked cool. I got two Bill Cosby records. I got Why Is There Air? And I got 200 miles per hour. This one is really, really beat up on the outside. Looks like it like caught fire or something really bad happened in that corner. This one uh, looks like a really good record. Uh, one of my silly ones, of course. Walt Disney's Merriest Songs. This one has some classics like Mary Poppins' Chim Chim Tree, Cinderella the Work Song, Snow White Whistle While You Work, Lady and Tramp the Siamese Cat Song, um, it has The Jungle Book, I Want to Be Like You. So, a lot of classic songs that I know from Disney movies. And this one was from 1968, so pretty cool. And this one's not in that bad of shape, so that was cool too. And look at what Tigger looks like, he's come a long way. I got another Bonnie Raitt record. And this one is Home Plate. I got Pat Benatar, Get Nervous. And that is the last of the records. So I think that was nine. I wasn't counting them as I went along. I did find a really nice silk scarf. And I was going to buy this anyway just because it was really pretty. And um, it said somewhere that scarves were $1.99. And I was like, oh, that's not bad for a silk scarf. And then I saw over here in the corner, I'm not sure you're going to be able to make that out, but it does say the name on the scarf. Um, this one is an Oscar de la Renta. So that definitely made it worth $1.99 for me. And then I got to the register, and they only charged me $0.99 cents for it. And blue and green tags were on sale. I didn't find anything with a blue or green tag, although I didn't buy that many things. I did find this one shirt, which is just an Ann Taylor Loft shirt, 
and you probably can't tell on camera, but this is fluorescent yellow. Like that safety green color that um, state workers wear, that's basically what color this is. And this shirt was $4.99. It wasn't on sale, so I actually paid $5 for a shirt, which is pretty expensive. And I thought it was funny because the tag was still on it from whoever donated it, um, which says $2. And then the very last thing, I saved this for last because it's definitely the best item that I got. And you guys might think I'm crazy. Hopefully someone out there is a cowboy boot fan, so they'll understand why I spent so much money on these. But these are brand new, but also vintage, cowboy boots, and I'm going to drop them, by Nine West. So these are in absolute perfect condition. You can see, I'm going to show you the bottom of the other sole. Um, you can see from the soles of these, there's absolutely no wear. No one has worn these before. Not even once. They're perfectly shiny. Nothing wrong with them. So these are in perfect condition. So these boots were marked 1999. And they were also a pink tag. So they were not on sale. Now I knew if I went back on a day that pink tags were on sale, these were not going to be there. They are my size, they're seven and a half. So I felt like I needed to buy them then, even though they weren't on sale. So I spent $20 on <laughs> these boots. And I did find a few pairs on eBay and Etsy. None of them were $20. Some people were even asking like $90 plus for these boots. Um, used, which I think is insane. Um, I want to say I found one pair that was brand new and they wanted over a hundred dollars for them. So that was pretty crazy. Um, these are beautiful. I love cowboy boots. I have quite a few pairs already. None that look like this. Um, and they are real leather. So I was pretty excited to find those. I could go on about them for a really long time, but I won't bore you anymore. Um, I will just let you guys go. Oh, I will do a quick outfit of the day. Um, you guys did see this in a previous video. This is the little jumper from Juicy Couture that I got at the consignment shop. And I'm a little disappointed about the fit because there's a lot of extra fabric in the middle, like the body part of this. And it kind of like bunches up in a really unflattering way. So, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it, and it was kind of a lot of money to buy and pay for something that I'm not completely happy about the fit, which is why you should try things on before you buy them. So yeah, my boyfriend was waiting out in the car when I went into the shop, so that's why I didn't spend the extra time. I just kind of was like, oh yeah, it'll fit, it'll be fine. So and I'm wearing my uh, white denim jacket from American Eagle that I bought at the Salvation Army for $2.50 that I've gotten a ton of wear out of. So yeah, um, that is what I will leave you with. Thanks again for watching my video, and uh, leave me some feedback, some comments down below. Click the like button if you liked it, and definitely subscribe because I will be putting out some more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.